hello friends welcome or welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in with me today we're gonna get right into this video i don't want to waste any time so today's design is gonna be a hello kitty coquette nail design if you aren't quite sure what coquette is it's basically this new trendy aesthetic that involves elements like bows lace pastel colors things like that and I'm going to be honest, at first I didn't really know what it was. I just started seeing a lot of people putting Coquette in their posts, like on Instagram. But I did notice each nail design that I came across had bows in them and looked really cute and girly. So no worries if you don't know what it is. I hope that helps a little bit. So I started by having my nails picked out and you've seen me clip them down. So now I'm just filing each one to make sure they're even. I'm not sure if you guys have heard the news. It's really not major news, but if you're on TikTok, then you may have seen it. But basically, Hello Kitty is not a real cat. Like, she's not a cat. She's actually a person, which is crazy to me because when you think of Hello Kitty and you see Hello Kitty, she literally looks like a cat. But I guess she's not. So, I don't know. Are you guys disappointed? I'm a little disappointed because I thought she was a cat, but she'll forever be a cat in my head. So, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna use these jelly colors from Born Pretty and I'm also gonna be using this ice jelly tint from Born Pretty as well. And all of these are gonna be on my base. So I do end up doing two to three coats of each color. I actually end up doing one coat for the ice jelly tint color because I only need one layer of that. You may be wondering why I skipped the thumb or you may not have noticed, but I did skip the thumb and I ended up going back to it because I have two colors that are somewhat similar, I was trying to figure out which fingers I was going to use each color on. So I did end up skipping the thumb, but I go back to that last and you'll see that as we go on in the video. I've got my Hello Kitty charms and I'm just going to be taking out one of each color except for the black because I don't need it. Um, this set does come with either you can use Hello Kitty's head or you can use Hello Kitty's whole body. But I prefer the head for this so I'm just pulling out each one 
and then I'm going to adhere them down with some rhinestone glue right in the center of each nail. I've got these sculpting gels from Sheen, which I previously purchased. And luckily again, I just have each color that I need. So I'm just doing squiggly lines, drawing some dots. Um, and that's basically how it's gonna be for each nail. So right now I'm just adding stars at the top of each nail. You will notice that eventually the stars won't matter because I do cover them up a little bit with the bows. So this is kind of optional, honestly. You can kind of see it, but not as much had I not put a bow on. So it's really up to you if you want to do this part.
So here I was really debating if I wanted to do more, but of course, this is gonna be a coquette design, so I am adding bows on the corners. Again, I kind of tilt them. I love how they look tilted. I was gonna put them straight, but I really like how they look this way, so I'm just doing this on each nail, of course. I'm going to be top coating these since I've added my charms and things. I'm going to add a few rhinestones as well. Usually you would use rhinestone glue to adhere your rhinestones, but I prefer to just top coat and then add my rhinestones and then cure it. I noticed that when I do rhinestone glue and I add too much glue, then the glue seeps out on the sides and it just looks really bulky around the edges and I don't want that to happen with this. So that is exactly why I'm doing top coat, but totally your preference. And these are the nails. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the coquette style kind of nails? I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.